there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel right and today i'm gonna show you something very very fun and very very cool now this is by far one of the most cheesable lanes and there are more cool options than just the one that i'm gonna showcase in today's video ghost can absolutely destroy this path so can kingpin with good synergy so that kind of like rounds you up for a perfect team to bring in ghost wasp kingpin hood and you're gonna be balling but there are other options and one of them is much more fun than the others and uh, let's play the clip here and again this is not the fastest way ghost can definitely do this quicker but silver surfer my boy silver surfer here uh, you can definitely very easily use also like a five star or five star rank four because he's going to be clapping he's going to be doing some crazy amount of damage as we're going to showcase here now this lane has energy adoption ice and energy adoption lightning which basically means every time you make contact with the opponent you have a uh, fairly significant chance to get a relatively weak shock or cold snap debuff however silver surfer doesn't take damage from shock or cold snap and since they are debuffs you actually get quite a lot of willpower heal which i'm going to have a chance to demonstrate a bit later but there is another thing that silver surfer does and that is has his um energy damage increased for each of these debuffs so we can see at this point on my special two attack uh every hit generates like excess of 20k plus additional damage and all my regular hits more than double their normal damage output so this fight was again fairly brief fairly short and uh it's very very fun i don't know about you guys but interactions like these is why i love mcoc this is why i play mcoc to find the cheesiest of corny interactions where you can have a ton of fun and just kind of do whatever you want. Now, another side note is you don't really want to inflict armor breaks on opponent too much anyways, because that disables the cold snap and it's not overly helpful. So you don't even want or have to do the clock watching of Silver Surfer's buffs because, <laughs> because, uh, it's not really needed. Now in this fight, I do go that quote unquote proper Silver Surfer cycle. And we can see that it hasn't really made that much difference in comparison to the first fight. Yes, okay, here we're doing 22, 23k extra damage on level two, which is quite exciting. Somebody in comment section, if you have the time, you can maybe calculate the total amount of damage from that single level two Silver Surfer did there. That would be very interesting to know but uh, since it had a lot of numbers and a lot of big ones, all I know it was a uh, but Jesus level of damage. But uh, yeah, anyhow, I was having a ton of fun recording this. So here I did mess up at the start. You can see that I'm at 80% health, but very quickly my health bar is just uh, rapidly recovering all the way back up to 100. So I was at 80 a few seconds ago. Now I'm at 93, 94. Why not? Uh, we just keep on climbing all the way back up to 100 without any problem full yellow bar so on top of having a huge damage output you also have a very great amount of regen so if you do happen to make mistakes it's a very very safe way which is uh, one way one thing where it's actually kind of like uh, better than ghost in a sense where if you're going to make a mistake with ghost you're going to make a mistake and you're going to lose your health with Silver Surfer, you have like two unique debuffs on you for vast majority of the fight. So that means a ton of willpower healing and a lot of damage. So I genuinely think that there is a bigger chance that you're going to finish this lane using Silver Surfer than with potentially Ghost. Okay, let's face it, Ghost will shred this one as well. Uh, if you guys want to, I can hop in here with my rank three six star ghost as well just to showcase the difference but uh yeah ghost ghost did some insane numbers here as well when i was uh, messing about with it but silver surfer is a champion that i like that's very fun to play and i don't think he gets enough love and attention now he was uh well let's say disappointing relative to our expectations of silver surfer however the further the game progresses, the more and more useful the little sucker kind of turns out to be due to the nature of the champion abilities and the nodes that you go up against. And again, that level 2 was just beautiful. It was beautiful to look at and the damage was beautiful as well. You can see there's 7500 extra damage per hit. And that's quite sweet in my book. 
Now we're going to be going up against Medusa. We have done like four fights on this lane in what four minutes. So each fight's barely lasting a minute. So talk about breezing through. <laughs> Right, so we're going to be going up against Medusa. Obviously against Medusa, you do need to worry about the auto block. But since these guys do not have parry mastery, I quite often just force out the auto block in the first place. So why not do that? Uh, it just works out well enough. So there we go. She goes for level two. Why not? I just keep on clapping at her. Takes all that damage. Wonderful. And we can just carry on casually and healing again. If I do happen to get caught, not too worried. I have all the chance in the world to heal all of my health up. That's why for this lane in particular, Silver Surfer could actually very easily have been run with Suicide Masteries, which I did in my initial completion or exploration run. But yes, I did use Silver Surfer here uh, before as I was exploring this thing uh, with Suicide Masteries, and I still finished with pretty much full health pool because all this constant willpower regeneration quite easily offsets all of the extra stuff here. Now the final opponent uh, is Rogue and uh, with that we will have completed pretty much the entire lane. And again that's like five minutes something so like a minute something for each fight. Not bad at all. Getting all of them juicy debuffs on me. Getting all that extra energy damage and uh, let's go. So against Rogue it's actually kind of convenient that uh, she shrugs off the armor breaks quite quickly. So it doesn't disable the energy adoption ice for a long time. And uh, you can play pretty much it as and how you want here with no downsides, basically. But yeah, 9k extra damage on my basic hit. So my basic damage is like 1000, 1300, and like a light hit and 9000 extra damage, man. That is some serious, serious damage buff. Now, unfortunately, here I felt prey for that uh, bug that we have currently when you're trying to re-explore things. But uh, on the, I don't know how we can call it, goodbye gift, extra video footage, two for one. I wanted to also show for somebody who might be struggling with this Punisher boss. Uh, because of power struggle, there's actually a very, very easy way how to solo the guy with any champion that has power control on the level one. So Psylocke, Hawkeye, Vision, uh, Vision, uh, sorry, Vision and Vision Age of Ultron. Any of those champions can do this fight extremely easily. Now it's going to take a while. This 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 fight, I actually do end up messing up at the very end. But you can definitely, definitely solo this guy with like a six star rank one, as showed here. So here how six star rank one Hawkeye, six star rank one Vision does not have to be duped. Doesn't matter. Uh, you can solo. Because of power struggle, the base idea is you push a uh, Punisher past a bar of power, you will gain a bar of power yourself immediately, and then just use your level 1, and uh, he is dropped below a bar of power, and that means that you detonate all of his surge charges, and uh, job's done. That's about it. You can just quite simply bring in Vision, and uh, it's gonna take a while. But you can do the same thing with Hawkeye, you can do the same thing with uh, Psylocke or any other champion that I'm currently forgetting that has some sort of form of power control on their level 1. So it's a very easy, very straightforward way how to deal with this Punisher without ever, ever having to await a special attack from him, without ever having to worry about any of the nodes. Now, as you can see, I'm missing a few parries here. And I'm going to mess up towards the very, very end. So this is not going to be a full solo, but you can definitely solo this guy with like Vision. Uh, and I don't know, some health boost or some regular 20% champion boost, you would have been more than fine here. And again, the entire idea about this Punisher fight, uh, obviously you can use Magneto. That also can work extremely well. Or Quake. Or I'm sure uh, plenty of other options. But uh, here... Yeah, I initially use Magneto, but uh, if you want to approach this uh, fight more with your brains than your brawn, and if you are working on, let's say, a limited uh, roster, then any champion that power drains on level 1 is a perfect, perfect solution for this fight. Again, might not be the quickest solution, but it will work. Trust me, guys, it will work. Anyways, that will, I guess, be more or less it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I definitely did enjoy running.
enjoy recording this. You can see the sweet, sweet damage. Where is that level two? Nice level two. Did I drop a level two? Yes, I did at some point. Well, either way. Where did, where did we have the juiciest number? Where am I going to get that thumbnail? I think this one is quite good. I think this one's quite good. Here we go. Uh, yeah, 23k extra damage. Why not, right? And even if you have finished this content already, just go and have a bit of fun with Solar Surfer. It honestly is extremely entertaining. But that is it for now, and I shall catch you guys soon. If you have any more questions, do not hesitate to ask. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about 